What is good, everybody? My name is Gid Gid Millhouse. I make videos to help inspire other people to getting better at artwork and building up better habits on learning in general and making fun little informational videos on how to market themselves. <laughs> in this video today, uh, I will be talking about how to record your art process or your drawings on Photoshop, Krita, Paint uh, even um, what's that one? Clip Studio Paint. Anything you're doing really on the screen, I'm going to show you guys how you guys can do it and uh, uh, how you guys can get ready to take it to the next step. Either if you want to stream or either if you want to just make a quick little video on your drawings or whatever for your Instagram posts or YouTube videos or what have you. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about OBS Tools. It's the only program that I have used um, I know there's Streamlabs and stuff, but I had the most success with OBS tools and I'm so comfortable with OBS tools. Uh, I just haven't wanted to find the need or urge to change to Streamlabs or anything like that. So, um, if you guys are <laughs> ready, <laughs> I'm going to take you guys to OBS and uh, my desktop and show you guys how I do things that I do. Okay guys, I got my OBS tools. I use OBS tools to record all my digital artwork and stuff that I do online, especially for content like this. <laughs> uh, you guys can find OBS tools uh, just by Googling it, or you could even go to Twitch and uh, look inside their assets or whatever, their place where they hold some other streaming um, programs. So I use this to stream on Twitch, but also I mainly use it to record my drawings or my uh, Photoshop or digital artwork so I can post for social media. I do this every time I start uh, with anything new. Uh, I've been kind of slacking on it, uh, to be honest, because uh, at some point you do got to be wary about your hardware space and how much space you have in your drive. And, you know, sometimes I'm lazy. So um, I'm starting this thing from scratch. And uh, first things first, I will add right here in the scene. I'm gonna make a new scene and I'm gonna call it, okay, YouTube Tut. Here in the sources is where you're gonna throw in all the elements that you want to capture for your video. Right here, you go to add by left clicking or right clicking, and you can go to display or you can do by window capture. I like doing it on display because if you do window capture, like uh, I want to make, say, if I want to make tutorial content out of my, um, my Photoshop stuff or digital work, it will show the UI and everything else like that. If I go to window, uh, window capture, it will not show the things I do on the side. And I use a lot of shortcuts when it comes to uh, illustrating and you know polishing off something. So it's to each their own, but uh, it's pretty simple. You go to display, capture here. You wanna add, ex uh, not add existing, but you could if you want, if you already have it made. I'm gonna hit okay. Display one, that's my main screen. Or I could do two or three, you know, the another software recording system that I'm already recording. <laughs> so I have my Photoshop here. And that's basically it. Like if you wanted to add more to your scenes, let's say if I wanted to have, uh, let's say if I wanted to stream on, on Twitch, I would go to, let's say if I want some music, um, I'm gonna throw in a browser hit OK and um, I'm gonna put my URL link right here and what I normally would do is I will go to um, go to a new window here open up a new one. and I will type up uh, I'll go to YouTube and I will go to uh, lo-fi hip-hop because I, I am a lo-fi person. I love lo-fi. Shout out to all the people who love lo-fi too. And I do 24 seven. So uh, there's no commercial breaks in between, except for the commercial break in the beginning of the video. 
So I'm going to take the link. Oop, I already got the music on. I'm going to take the link. Paste it in here. Hit OK. And see, you have uh, hey, your YouTube video hey, here man. playing. But let's say I don't want this to be in here at all. And I also want to skip the ad because I don't want anyone to, you know, sit here and stick around for the ad. So I'm going to go to, uh, not edit transform, but I'm going to go to interact. I'm going to skip the ad. Skip that. And I'm just going to lower the, the music just just by a smidgen. So if I want to get rid of this, or if I just want to like have it on the side, let's see, take that back. Take this, have it to the side here, and we just lower it right here. So I have like this little image here, or the, the YouTube uh, browser there. And if you just, if you want to get rid of the white, you can go to full screen mode. And bam, we have her sitting on the side there. And if you want to completely hide it, you can go over here to the browser. You see this little eyeball here? Boom, it's hidden. And you could record what music going on in the background or stream what music in the back. Um, a lot of the lo-fi stuff, especially with Twitch, I think it's uh, a lot of it's like kind of royalty free. It's all remixed. So you want to get hit with a copyright strike or anything like that, uh, that I know of, because I never got hit with a copyright strike. Um, let's say if I wanted to uh, add, let's say my my camera in here. Okay. First off, let me turn on the lights because my room is pretty dim. I think this is bright enough, I think. And let me add another thing over here. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, window capture, uh, video capture device. Hit OK, add it in. And here is my screen. How are you guys doing? And I can just add that in. And uh, I don't want it to be that big. I'm just going to slow it down. Oh, not slow it down, but just minimize that. And you can just do that, or you can make your own uh, custom layouts. I have done that before. Uh, let's say if I want to add in an image. I got to browse. I think uh, I have my stuff kind of like all over the place. I need to organize a little bit more. Hit OK. And then, okay, so if you have this problem here, uh, this little box here is totally blocking my camera. What I could also do is just take this image and move it down to the bottom here. Oh, but then I lose everything. So I would like it right here, right underneath the, the camera. And then I can take this and just move it up. And I can go in deep with the transform. You can like transform it any way you want. Uh, let's say if I like right click this thing, right? Because if I just can't get it to fit in, uh, let's go to transform, uh, edit transform. Yeah, you can move by the position, the size and stuff like that. Let's try doing it like this. Increase the, the height. A little bit and then somehow I have it fit. I also have like another type of layout uh, for this thing. Like, um, so I have all this uh, space up top and these things don't really seem 100% uh, in line. Just go back here and just add another source. I'm gonna add another image. And bam, that's how I got my entire setup to work. Um, and after that, you can just hit record 
and start, you know, your illustration or whatever. And that's basically, like, that's basically it. It's not hard to record you know, on drawings or anything like that. Um, just make sure that you have it uh, saved in a place that you want it to go. Uh, if you don't know where your recordings are going, you can always go to um, settings here, go to output. And uh, I basically just copied copy this uh, from another YouTube uh, video on how to use OBS. So feel free to copy this. Um, I always record it in an MP4 format. Um, that's what works best for editing videos uh, for, me, for me personally on Adobe Premiere Pro. And then also uploading them to various social media uh, sites like Instagram uh, and Twitter and stuff like that. And especially YouTube. And if you have a mic, um, I don't know if I did anything with audio settings. You can also look at other videos for that. But for the most part, if you're just trying to um, record your your videos just for social media, this is all you really need. Just set it up, start recording, or you can start streaming. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys liked it, please give it a like and even let me know in the comment sections how I did on the video or if you need any more uh, answers filled in. Um, you guys can also find me on Instagram or anywhere else to be honest I think I'm kind of like all over the place like uh, a terrible infection or a germ. <laughs> it's a terrible joke I'm sorry uh, you can find me uh, mostly on Instagram that's why I post most of my work uh, most of my drawings most of my uh, I guess my daily post on art on like what I'm doing that day or some little snippet of productivity Thank you guys for watching. Remember, you guys are better than you were yesterday because you're trying to do something today. And uh, you guys have a goodie, okay? See you guys later.